Oh, hello, Thornton. Ow! Oh, f he's shooting me. The I'm gonna try and destroy these as quick as I can this time before he starts shooting. Ow! Dodge that, you silly. Oh, f off. Oh, there's two of them now. Oh, f I didn't see you before. What is going on, YouTube Universe? This is Zira, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another installment of Alan Wake 2. Sit back, relax, it is game time. We are picking up the action where we left off in the previous episode. We found out that Mulligan, one of the uh, sheriff deputies from Bright Falls, has become a Taken. And we're actively going to be chasing after him, which means we're going to be taking on a boss fight yet again. And if my last boss fight was anything to work off of, we're going to die a fuckload of times. <laughs> we're going to put ourselves in a rather precarious position. There's Mulligan right there. I'll catch you. Oh, you fucking dog. Get too close and that's going to pop up. Okay. You... Fool me one, shame on me. Fool me twice, you know what I'm saying? While we chase Mulligan down, I just want to thank you all once again for all the support you're throwing behind this series. You can continue to do so by hitting that like button down below. If you're new around these parts, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I think this is the motorcycle. Yep. This is where they had the clicker. The motorcycle club. I need to find it. That Ilmo and his brother are a part of. Let's scout this area out for any little bit of ammunition we could find. Because I need it. We got ourselves in a rather tight spot in the last episode with no ammunition, so let's try to savor the moment as much as we can right now. The Mulligan entered here with a secondary deputy, so we might be getting two for the price of one here. Can't find the new door lock combination. Look inside the smiley coffee cup. Okay. As always, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to pause to read through any of these emails or any other documents I find, feel free to do so. We need to find the combination for that door. And they said look inside the smiley cup, so I'm going to make sure... We look at every fucking cup we can find. Speaking of cup, I could go for a fucking coffee right now. The breakfast of champions, coffee. Keep the body moving. You know you're adulting when you become reliant on caffeine to get you through the day. Or in my case right now, to kickstart it. Oh, there we go. Down up. That's how I remember it. I like to uh, remember just the shapes. So when I say down up, I know exactly what combination we're talking about. Sorry, I yawned a little bit there. I apologize. See, I told you I need a fucking coffee. These deer heads are fucking everywhere. There has to be an achievement in this game for patting every single mounted deer head because... I don't know why else they'd let you do it, and I'm glad so far up until this point in time, that's exactly what we've done. Give it a good old pat on the head. Now, let's go check this lock combination, because it's going to have three Locked. of them, right? They must be in there. There has to be a way to get this lock open. A little bit of a scratch behind the ear while I flick through. It's a good thing you can do that with one hand. I'm multifaceted, ladies and gentlemen. I've got some. I've got some talents. That's all I'm saying. Um, just quickly looking here to make sure none of these emails allude to the other parts, but doesn't look like it. Okay. 
I've got a feeling Yako and um, Ilmo might be part of the Cult of the Tree. Something about them makes me feel a little bit uneasy. But coming back here... Oh, of course, look. Right there. So I think in order, it's going to be up, down, then diagonals, and then down, up. I'm going to run with that combination. Let's have a look here. Up, down, diagonals. Is that, is that not right? Ah, I was doing the wrong diagonals. Like a bit of a fucking this dickhead. Cult hideout. Yeah, we found it. Their headquarters even? Some deer masks and plenty of cups of coffee up on the bench. Bastards could have done me a favor and poured me a cup. No one I was coming. There's a basement. A fuse. Could come in handy. Yes. And I'm going to quick save just in case we're heading to our impeding doom. Hang on. I didn't want to go down there yet. Thank you, Saga. Wanted to make sure we've accessed everything. And yet again, if you wish to read any documentation that comes on screen, feel free to pause, read, and then, you know, get back to the gameplay. The cult isn't well organized. People aren't following orders. We're just going to collect everything. Because that's going to help us uh, in the mind place make some deductions. I've marked the map like you asked. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. That's actually handy to know. This will be handy. Now we know where all the stashes are located. Don't mind if I do. Because each stash we have found so far has been incredibly handy, especially the one where we found our latest weapon, the crossbow. Shit. Hey. Hello, gentlemen. Put your hands up and pull your pants down. That's the click Come out slowly. Of course they've disappeared. But, of course, they took it. they're playing with me. I was so of course, close. they're playing with us. It's all a fucking game. Get the clicker from Mulligan and Thornton. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like ilk. The thrill of domination. Not one tree, the forest, the word, a secret like this, or does it die? There is more than one leader. For those of you who might uh, think these guys are familiar, uh, you are correct. They are very familiar. I need to open the safe. I've opened the safe already, but we'll do it just so we get this out of the way. The puzzle, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yako. Only very smart people can think up good pun. We can skip ahead. But Mulligan and Thornton uh, were the two deputies at the very start when Saga first rocked up to Bright Falls and Cauldron Lake that helped us on our way. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there. Taking the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an overlap here, like there was at Cauldron Lake. Mulligan and Thornton alike. Um. Inside, waiting, and a parade float is the key. Yeah, the parade float might be key, but they left a monster behind for me. That's a little bit concerning. So we're gonna quick save because I'm not a fucking idiot. Hey, you stop fucking around with the sound effects. Oh, look. They've moved one of those out of the way. I've got to... 
quickly scratch the snoz before we turn around. Where you at? Whoa! Fuck! Nice sledgehammer you got there, you fuck. Or is actually, that's not a sledgehammer at all. That looks like a pole that's been ripped out of the ground and it's got like cement on the bottom of it. Nope. Not today, sunshine. Oh, he's not moving. He's going to make this easy for me. I'm going to pop him in the head. And then we're going for the kill shot, ladies and gentlemen. There's only one spot. Right in the dick hole. Told you, kill shot. <laughs> oh, my lord. Let's get some of my bolts back. And now we've got to find out where the... Oh, okay, here we go. We've got an abnormality over here that we need to shut down. There's the float. Is this the parade float the page mentioned? The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem and the heart to the witch sign, open the overlap. Yes. Here, it's the parade float. All right, so what do we need? This is one disturbing parade. Not sure what... Altari butchered his victims with a puko knife. like the knife is missing. All right. How come this is going to require a mask. And the other isn't. So a puko knife, a mask... I don't hear any haunting laughter. Oh, I know where we can find that. Now, first of all, there was a deer mask hanging up in here, wasn't there? So shouldn't I be able to just come in here and grab the deer mask off the wall? Was that... No, that's not at all possible. If anything, that'd probably be way too simple, right? The laughter comes from the cup inside Coffee World that uh, gave me a little bit of a fright in the previous episode. It looked like there was a tape so recorder a tied to the back of it. Float. Looks like only four pieces are missing. The Let's mask have a look. Is the only one without a location listed. Hmm. That's okay. Gift shop. Easy. All right, so we get the puka knife from I the gift shop. What it says. Espresso Express. Got it. Fair trade fun zone. Yep. The cassette tape is tied to the back of that little coffee thing. And right over here. Stabbing again and again. That must mean the arm's supposed to move. I need to put a control board or something in there. And it looks like we're going to have to go back to Coffee Wheel to get everything. So if our first trip to Coffee Wheel wasn't ominous enough, this sure fucking will be. All right. How the fuck am I supposed to get the control panel that's in the middle of this thing? Hello, way down. And hello, circuit board. Oh, shit! Um, yeah, okay, how do we get out of here? How do we get out of here? Oh, what have I done? I'm going to be slaughtered by an amusement park ride. Holy shit. There's no way I can go back out the way I came, right? Like, I can't time the gap and kind of, like, dive out? Is that... is that the deal? No, nah, there's no way. The machine's moving way too fast for me to do even anything. There has to be an exit through the other side.
because I can't put the circuit board back. Oh, okay, yep. I should have noticed that the first time. I'm a fucking idiot. Pick me up another manuscript page, don't mind if I do. Now we can get on our merry way to go find the other items. No, you can get back down that well, mate. I'll poke you, mate. Cheat is out. Boof. Fucking idiot. Alright, where to next? We've got to go to the gift shop and we need to go get the uh, cassette from behind that coffee cutout. And then we just have to determine how we're going to find that deer mask. Alright, where's the Puko knife at? I guess a toy knife will do. Hey, better than nothing. Serves its purpose. I think that's everything. We just need to find... Yep, so we've got that. We don't know where the mask is. We've got to get the sound from the fair, the fun fair section, you know, all the side games and stuff like that. And then I suppose maybe the deer head will eventually veer itself, like the, the mask will reveal itself in due course. Maybe. Is it wishful thinking? Am I am I thinking very wishfully? I'm trying to remember the way I'm supposed to go to get to the fun fair section. Is it back this way? Yes it is. make sure that there's nothing else around here that I can find, especially with that deer mask crossed off. But th there's your haunting laughter. Actually, we'll go get that now, because I know it's there. Thank God. Now it's just a matter of finding the deer mask, the last item on our list. Is it on the percolator? Kind of ironic that uh, I was talking about wanting and needing some caffeine and we end up back in Coffee World again. Just more so bringing up my caffeine addiction. Triggering me on a whole new level, these bastards. I want to check out the Ferris wheel around the back here and see if the Ferris wheel has anything to do with this. Of course there's a cult stash. Only striped cups. Oh, hang on. This would be interesting. So all the cups on this first wheel with stripes are obviously going to determine the... the combination here. See, I like this. This game has gone really above and beyond with its puzzles. So we've got... One stripe on the number one, so that's obviously the first one, and then we've got two stripes on the four, and then three stripes right there, perfect. Thank you. Oh, I needed that. Do not take what is not yours. They're very persistent with telling me not to take shit, even though I've, you know, cracked the code and I'm breaking in and taking their shit. But now I'm in a bit of a state of uh, confusion as to where I'm supposed to go, because I've looked throughout this entire place and I've got no fucking idea. We're sorry, this toilet is temporarily out of order. What the fuck? All the toilets are out of order! 
Oh, you wouldn't want to be wanting to take a shit, especially in Coffee World, giving you those caffeine poo-poos, my lord. Alright, I'm going to go put the pieces back into this float that I already have and then see if that does anything. Because I can't find that D-mask for the fucking life of me. We don't have the mask, but I can give you the knife. And the circuit board. A little something to get those arms moving. But I don't know about this mask. Can I profile? The material Here we go. The parade float mentioned a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never failed to amuse me. Ah! No, we know him more. There is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. The moose died because he it had too much head. coffee? Mulligan and Thornton had one job. That kind of turns me off wanting a fucking coffee right now. How morbid is that? So now we're going to have to uh, profile these bastards. The mask is missing. Where is it? The dead brought back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. Moose steak is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done. They know where it is. Of course I know they do. Know. Where is it, you fucks? We didn't bleach it. We all bowed at him. The mall of the crumbling well. Show the bitch who's Well, we know where that is. This mask is at the Huatari Well, in Coffee World. Just on the inside, through this gateway. Like I did in Cauldron Lake. The well, here in Coffee World. I know the Moose Skull will be there. Come with me, Mocha. Now I need Your head serves a good purpose. I promise. I wouldn't have envisioned that the mask we had to put on the float was an actual fucking moose head. And finally, the moose skull. Oh, there's the overlap. We're gonna have to crawl down the well. Okay, Saga. Let's get the clicker from these assholes. Let's fucking go. We're gonna have to take on Mulligan and Thornton. Those transition screens are so fucking well done. <coughs> what the hell? Yep, defeat Mulligan and Thornton. Where am I? Gonna have ourselves a uh, a dual boss fight. And if they're anything like the naked Nightingale with his little peen peen, we uh we know they're gonna be a handful. Unlike Nightingale and his little peen peen. <laughs> Now I'm curious as to whether this is going to end up a loop just like the last time we were in the overlap. Um, we pretty much ran in circles. Take the manuscript page, thank you. Oh look, a little sauna. But yeah, the last time we saw these deputies uh, as normal deputies was after Nightingale had broken out of the morgue and had essentially killed a couple of the deputies and the sheriff went missing. So maybe that exposed them to becoming taken? Unless they were always a part of the cult of, a tr of the tree and we never knew. No 
I don't know about you, but the the sound effects that they're using for the voices sounds very Evil Dead, and I fucking love that fact. Oh. All right, let's go down. I've got a feeling we're just going down the same well we just went down, and it's going to loop us. The story is trying to take Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. Oh, hello, Ellen. Wake. I saw him this way in the other overlap. It's a loop. Just like before. Oh, we got a dead body. It's going to be one long continuous loop until we eventually come across Mulligan and Thornton for the fight. Which again, this mechanically is so well done and that's what this game does so well. The mechanics that this game delivers is very groundbreaking and definitive for this franchise. It really makes me think that this is Remedy's best game that they have made to date. Could be a very... Uh, Big call, but this has already surpassed the original Alan Wake. Um, I have a huge love for the Max Payne franchise, don't get me wrong, but this has surpassed that as well. And I haven't played Control, so I can't really talk about it, but let's just assume this is better than Control as well. This game has been so fucking good. Oh, fuck! I need to look for another way through. I wonder how much more running around I'm going to have to do before it comes to the point. I can hear you laughing, you bastards. Oh. Oh. Hello, Thornton. Oh, fuck. He's shooting me, the bastard. How? I'm going to try and destroy these as quick as I can this time before he starts shooting. Ow! Fucking dodge that, you silly bastard. Oh, fuck off. Oh, there's two of them now. Oh, fuck. I didn't see you before. He's not getting affected by my fucking flashlight either. It's like a dodge and weave saga. I don't know when this big boy got involved in the game, but fucking he popped up out of nowhere, that bastard. I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, I'm on the brink of death. I am on the brink of death. I'm so fucked. Can we blow him up? Did it work? Alright, one down. I'm gonna hide behind this fucking rock for as long as I can. Peekaboo, you bastard! Oh, fuck! I'm literally one shot away from being dead. I need to pull this off. Shoot a couple of rounds into him. I don't know how many it's going to take. We did it! Progress. 
I wrote to be the story's hero. I've got a feeling Alan Wake still might be trapped, and the Alan Wake they think they've been dealing with is Scratch. That's the feeling I've gotten the last few episodes now. Especially with Alan still appearing like this. Was it, was it Alan or Scratch that put her family in the story, though? Are these visions coming from the past? When he was still trapped in the dark place? Or is he still trapped? Either way, she's got the clicker now. Game changer. Huge game changer. End of chapter. Wake said he could use the clicker to undo. I don't know how I survived that fight. Have a look at the health bar. I'm going to get under this light source so I can heal at least a little bit of that health back. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to bring this episode to a close. Thank you for joining me as always. If you did enjoy this, please do myself a favor and hit that like button down below. If you are new around here or you've missed any episodes and you just want to catch up, feel free to check out the playlist, which is linked down below in the description of this video. And hit that notification bell before you leave as well. So whenever I upload, you guys get that ring and ding ding to let you know something new has gone down. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. Hit subscribe, you bastard.